I'm sorry I'm late. I've had a hell of a day. Uh, and it gets better. We can't find Michael Bisping. What fighter has been more stood up at press conferences than George St. Pierre? The answer is zero. Anyway, on a positive note, George St. Pierre is back. The landscape in mixed martial arts change all the time. Um, and we had up, up, ups and downs in discussion. It's been a long time, a long process. Um, I want to say thanks to the, the UFC, thanks to my management team uh, to make that possible. And, uh, well, I, I, at one point after UFC 206 uh, Toronto, I, I kind of lost hope. And then it bounced back and they announced me the great news. So uh, I'm very happy to be here. There's a lot of different things that have to happen. Once we, once we know where George is, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll set the date. I'm hoping and aiming for this, you know, and probably in July. That's, in, in a perfect world, I would love to see this fight happen on International Fight Week. If I come back as the same Georges St. Pierre I used to be when I, when I was very successful, I'm going to have a very bad night, the night of the fight. If I come back, it's because I am, my trainer are, and my training partner are all convinced that I'm a better version than I was when I used to compete. I believe right now I reached the perfect peak of athleticism, knowledge, and wisdom as a fighter, and I'm going to prove it to everyone. No one gives a George. Everybody, I'm sorry I'm late. Dana, my apologies. George, my apologies. Um, Everybody gives a that you're late. Sit down. No, I'm sure. <laughs> I think Vegas got the best out of you, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't matter because I'm going to get the best out of you, so shut the up. Now you Listen, are. Now you are. You're talking about being a welterweight. You are a welterweight, okay? I'm a middleweight. I can't wait to square up against you. Stand up. Stand up and look at the size of me and look at the size of you. Go back to Canada. I think you should shut, shut up. You're embarrassing yourself right now. Are, are you still drunk right now? Are you still drunk? Or what, what's no, going on? No, but I'm going to go. <laughs> what, the, what is going on with him? I'm going to go have a Your beer. voice is kind of, you, what, what is happening with you? My God. Are you, are you LT? Are you okay? Is, is up, uh, up here? Is hey, it, hey, you hey, getting hey, hit too much or what? Hey, hey George. I'll go out on an all night vendor and still beat you, pal. I respect you coming back, but I know why you picked me. You think I'm an easy fight. Just like Anderson did. Just like Luke Rockhold did when I knocked him out in the first round. Just like everybody does. Yeah, <laughs> Luke Rockhold. Um, just like everybody does. And time and time again, I proved them wrong. So this is the guy, the greatest of all time, didn't want to face Anderson. Didn't want to face Anderson when he was the man. But he comes out of retirement to face me. Yeah, real good fighter. I just wish Michael Bisping would have come out with a different song than all the guys that I've fought before, you know. Oh, you're just an athlete, blah, 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 you're not a fighter. Uh, I, blah, blah, my journey blah, in mixed blah, martial arts is more than, than, than legit. I've been, I've been at incredible obstacle, you know, I, I, I've fought guys, I had to come back. Uh, Carlos Candid and everybody, I, I, I've, I've fought Hendrix, everybody, BJ Penn won, I, I came back like I, and I fought and I, sh and I showed true heart. And uh, that's why I'm here today. I'm not a, an easy target, and my journey is honorable. Thank you.